We are here at the Red on Salmon. It's a 1918 renovated warehouse style venue that was an original steelworks building on the east side of Portland. Check this place out. Portland's known to have these really cool renovated urban spaces, but what makes the Red especially unique is that it takes up an entire city block. You can accommodate over 600 guests, more than we've ever filmed. And the history of the building is actually quite interesting. It was a steel plant to create car parts. Since then, it's been renovated and retooled as a space for community events to promote regenerative agriculture. They have elements of the original factory, like this giant steel press behind me. I've actually seen it used before for a bartending area, and you can also just have it as a fun decoration. It's kind of a nod to the history of the space. Since those days of an early steel plant, it's been renovated into a commercial kitchen that's actually used for local food entrepreneurs and chefs to connect with farms. And what makes this really useful for your event is that you've got all of this infrastructure for catering. Now, the main hall is over 8,000 square feet, which is an enormous amount of space. Oftentimes what we see at weddings is one area for a ceremony, one area for a reception. It's kind of turnkey, but not at the red. Here, we've actually got the ability to change the space for the exact vision of your day. Some people get married in front of these big bay doors over here. They actually close the kitchen during the wedding ceremony and then open it later. And at other events, we've seen people do the ceremony down on this end. What I've seen at different weddings has blown my mind. I've seen people use these really cool X-style arches for wedding arbors. I've seen people actually do a giant stage right here with a live band. It can accommodate a ton of people, which is just super over the top. And now a lot of venues also don't come preloaded with the same amount of rentals that you have here. They have 500 gray chairs, they have round tables, workshop tables, bistro tables and stools, it's all preloaded into the space. And I've seen it done a hundred different ways with different linens, different tablecloths, and you can really make it your own. Let me show you one of my favorite built-in features of this space. If I press this magic button right here, I have the ability to close all of the window blinds. And you can take a very bright space and make it very closed off, dark. So let's say maybe you don't wanna have a 600 guest wedding, but you want something a little bit more intimate. We've turned up the cafe lights and now we have this very small, intimate feeling space where we can have maybe 50 guests together for a nice little cocktail hour. Now, we're videographers. I work with a camera and when I hear that there's gonna be an indoor event, sometimes I'm like, ooh, is that gonna be super dimly lit? I know that when I'm shooting at the red, I'm gonna have all of this natural light pouring in through these beautiful bay windows and doors, supplemented by awesome cafe lights and beautiful bright overheads. There's just a ton of space for us to work with as vendors, which is really important because you don't want your wedding video to look like it was shot inside of a dark, grainy basement. Most people probably don't get as excited about toilets as I do, but if you have a bunch of guests coming through and drinking and eating and partying, you're gonna have a huge line for the bathroom. One nice thing about the Red is that they've got a ton of these really cool individual stalls. They've got baby changing areas. They got everything your guests need so that they can flow in and out of the event and not be standing in line for 30 minutes to use like a little trailer bathroom or an outhouse or a single stall. And then coming out of the main hall, you have this conference room. Now, normally this is where big business happens, I'm sure, but during your wedding, it's actually a private space that's secluded and turned into a bridal suite. So you can have up to 48 people, that's friends, family, it's your bridesmaid, that's your groomsman. It's a space for doing hair and makeup, putting the dress on, all of the prep that you need to do on your wedding morning can happen right in here, which is really nice, because I see a lot of couples rent an Airbnb down the street, maybe they have a hotel room, you can have everyone on site here. And not to mention the fact that there's plenty of parking outside. You can get here in the morning and be here all day with all of your bridesmaids and all your groomsmen. Now, like I said, this venue takes up an entire city block. And while half of it is the actual venue itself, the other half is a very important amount of parking for your guests. If you're gonna have one, two, three hundred people coming to congregate in the middle of a dense urban area, you're gonna have a problem at a lot of venues. There's not usually enough parking to put that many people. But here, I've seen this entire parking lot packed full of people. 
It makes it so easy if you're trying to have a large event. And even if you're having a small event, it's nice to have a secure place to put all of your guests' cars where they're not worried about break-ins, they're not worried about parking tickets. We're in one of the most densely populated parts of Portland and yet there's all of this space to put people. It just makes it so much easier when you're trying to plan an event where you have one, two, three, maybe even 400 guests coming to congregate in the middle of town. I think one thing that's also tough about some of these urban spaces is that the surrounding area isn't always that desirable. And speaking as a videographer, you know, when the sun starts to set and we want to do a really pretty golden hour session with you and your new partner, well, we want to take you outside. And here we have trees, we have murals, we have art. We just have this really pretty neighborhood. Um, and I think that that's something that makes this venue stand out, to me at least is it's not just the space itself, but it's the whole neighborhood that you're having your wedding in. Now, let's say it's the end of the night. Ceremony's over, the reception's winding down. You wanna do something special for your guests about an hour before last call. Well, this foyer area has been transformed many times into a food truck area. That's right, you can have Pips Donuts, pizza, 50 Licks ice cream, anything you want out here. We'll link to the Red somewhere in this video, maybe down in the description, so check them out. The EcoTrust team runs their entire event coordination. They're amazing, they're all over Portland, and while you're at it, check out some films. We do amazing wedding films. I would love to chat with you and your partner about what your vision is. Whether you're getting married in Portland or, or Maine or the Caribbean, we shoot weddings all over the world, and we make some of the best films that you'll ever see. Catch you next time.